Hey, Vault Dwellers, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest drama in the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout 76. Yep, you guessed it, we're talking about the controversial, unnukable areas. Grab your Pip-Boy and your favorite Nuka-Cola, because things are about to get heated. So what's all the fuss about? Recently, Bethesda decided to make certain areas in Fallout 76 unnukable. That means no more dropping those sweet, sweet nukes on specific zones. And let me tell you, the community is split right down the middle on this one. On one hand, you've got players who are cheering. They're like, finally, now I can build my camp in peace without worrying about some griefer turning my hard work into radioactive rubble. I mean, who wouldn't want to protect their cozy little corner of Appalachia from becoming a crater, right? But then, on the other hand, we've got the hardcore nuke enthusiasts. These folks live for the thrill of launching nukes and watching the chaos unfold. For them, this change feels like Bethesda just took away their favorite toy. Imagine you're all set to drop a nuke on a Scorch Beast Queen, only to find out the area is now a no-go zone. Total buzzkill, right? Bethesda's reasoning, they're trying to strike a balance between fun and fairness. They want to create safe zones where players can build and explore without the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. Sounds reasonable, but it's also stirring up a lot of debate about game balance and player freedom. Now, let's talk about the broader impact. This move has sparked a conversation about the direction of live service games like Fallout 76. Are we heading towards more protective measures to ensure a more inclusive and less hostile environment? Or are we losing the chaotic fun that makes these games so unique? Personally, I get both sides. On one hand, it's awesome to have a safe haven where you can chill and build your dream camp. On the other, the unpredictability and danger of nukes are part of what makes Fallout 76 so thrilling. It's a tough balance to strike and it'll be interesting to see how Bethesda handles it moving forward. But what do you think? Are you for or against unnukable areas? Do you think Bethesda is making the right call or are they nuking the fun out of the game? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from the wasteland. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, stay safe, stay smart, and stay out of those irradiated zones. Catch you in the next one.